Go. How are you doing today? My name is Curtis Thompson with Celebrate Station, Oklahoma City. Okay. Uh, today we're going to be doing some upholstery. This right here is a bad piece of upholstery on a cart that needs to be replaced. Uh, one of the reasons we're going to be doing it ourselves is because you save money. On a single shower, seat just like this, uh, the seat bottom itself, if you buy this complete, it's $40.50. Okay, just the material to cover this for shower is twelve dollars. Okay, and that's uh, that's why we save some money. Uh, there's a few things you're going to need: staple puller, sixteen dollars and fifty cents for your local upholstery shop. A pair of shears, about twenty-four dollars for a local upholstery shop. You need a Ranko nailer. It's a three-eighth stapler. Uh, it's made for material. Okay. Uh, you just use standard 3 8 upholstery staples. Okay, let's get started on this. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to look at it and you want to start pulling your staples out. You just take this staple puller and you put it in there underneath the staples, just like this, and you pull them out just like that. Okay, when you get that done, you take and you pull these out. Okay. That's how you start. Okay, well, we just pull out the very last few staples of this. Okay, and as you can see, once I get the part, you can see the back. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's not too wore out. Our foam looks pretty good for our foam. That's what it's supposed to look like there. You just take your old piece, you can wrap it up and throw it away. Uh, if you buy material in bulk, you could probably lay out your old material on top of it and then cut it about an inch and a half longer than your other material. Now I already have some brand new pre-cut material here, okay? This is what I'm going to be using to cut it with. Okay, so you take your material here, be sure to put your good side down, and foam against your uh, the back side of your material. You want to line it up real nice and neat there. Okay, the first thing you're going to do Take the gun, make sure you put air in it. Every day, put a couple of drops of oil inside your gun to where it's good to go. Pull this up, kind of hold it kind of tight right there. Put uh, about three stones in that side. You're going to pull it real tight. And you want to put about three staples in that side also. You're going to do the same thing to this side, okay? And you want to be sure to pull it tight to where it holds it real tight. Okay. Put it real tight here. And then that way right there, that'll hold it for this section. Okay, we're back now. Now that we've got it secured all the way around here, I'm going to show you how to do your first corner. Okay, basically what you put right down here. Basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull it tight here. Put you a couple of staples in here where it gets you started. And you want to take these corners and you want to kind of pull them real tight but fold them over where there's not a wrinkle there okay so and sometimes it's hard to do you just got to work with it a little bit until you can get it around to where you want it okay and you just keep working it all around and get a staple here a staple there and once you actually make it around the corner like that, you can put a couple of staples in. See how this material is bunched up here? Okay, you want to kind of pull it tight there to where it'll stay down. And be sure to get all your be sure to get all your little grooves there and come back. Get your get your pieces like that right there. And now that corner right there, see it turned out it turned out pretty good. And that way where whenever you're complete with this project. It's going to look like a seat that was covered uh, probably better than the factory and it'll probably last longer than our factory seats last. Uh, and of course it just depends on how the weather takes a toll on your seats too. Okay, we're going to do this corner at a little different angle to give you a little bit of different view to it. Uh, maybe you guys will understand what we need to do. Now make sure that you take and pull everything really tight and try to get all the wrinkles out because if you can't keep the wrinkles out of it it's going to show on top of the seed. It's okay to have a few wrinkles around the edge uh, but just take your time 
make sure you make sure you get it right. Make sure you staple it down really good. And once you get uh, and see how I'm having to kind of pull it towards the edge again, to where I can get it all straight back out. Again. Once we get it this far, your next step is going to be to. Uh, I always take here on the ends and I put two rows of staples in. Okay, that helps secure it. Once you get it all stapled down like this, next thing you want to do is get your box knife, uh, which I forgot to tell you at the beginning that you need a box knife to do this. And you need to cut all this stuff, all the extra material, out from around it, just like this. Okay. Now remember when you're cutting it like this, try not to cut past your staples. Because if you actually cut past your staples, then you're going to have to pull all this material off and redo it again. And that's probably not something that you want to do. Okay, so just be real careful when you're cutting around the edges uh, and you're cutting that wrinkle stuff. Okay. Uh, just make sure you cut it past the try to get as straight a line as you can all the way around. Once you get that done, then you're done with this. The next thing you need to do is you need to make sure that all your sides have double staples, just like the end that you did. Okay? You want to just try to go in between all the staples, okay? And you want to do that all the way around. Make As I was saying a while ago, you want to put in right there. When you get to this corner here, Okay, you want to fold these down with your fingers and then you want to stick a staple right in the end of them to try to, you want to hit all the loose ends because the loose ends is what will actually come up and cause your, cause your seat to come apart. Okay, um, any loose ends that you have anywhere else, just, just go through and put a staple in it. Okay, um, like I said on the side right here, you see the way we have a staple here, a staple here. You need to try to get them where they're actually staggered like this uh, and put a staple in between them where it holds it down really good. You know, staples are cheap. Staples are real cheap. Um, I think it's uh, four dollars for a box of a thousand staples. So it's not really hurting anything to use a few more staples. Now it might take a little while to pull all the staples out whenever you go to redo it again but uh, believe me it'll it'll just last that much longer okay so here it is I look a brand new seat okay done it took me about uh, probably 15 20 minutes altogether to do the seat and you save twenty eight dollars and fifty cents by doing it yourself and if you add up the number of seated cars that you have, it ends up being really good, you know. Uh, and while you're doing this, I want you to be sure that uh, you have a little fun while you're doing it, okay? Uh, make sure they're wearing safety glasses, okay? Mm -hmm. This is Andrew, he's our helper, so he's really fun to pick on. Uh, anyway. Well, thank you guys very much. Uh, I enjoyed giving this little presentation on, on seat covers. So, hey, y'all have a great day. Thank you very much.